rental fees only after they receive. When they apply the import license, also it will take not less than two weeks. So after they receive, they have to apply for the, uh, to the Minister of Finance to get a tax and duty exemption. So they have to apply two different documentation for one shipment. So if you compare with special economic zone law and uh, Myanmar investment law, is totally different. And also, someone in CMP is a little bit uh, easier, but uh, uh, but they do not have uh, not much exempt, uh, exempt, uh, exempted. So now, special economic zone is only in uh, Thilawa SEZ zone, and now only only 48 companies already invested in Thilawa SEZ zone. So for the time being, uh, this is a good ongoing, and maybe I heard that in future they don't need to to make a one-stop service as well. And when, as soon as the container arrives, we can bring in this container up to the SEZ, then check one stop over there. So it will uh, maybe save another one day again. So for the time being, SEZ zone law is very good for the for, and attractive to the uh, foreign investment to, to Myanmar. Thank you. Yes, <clears throat> this is. You mean you mean? Yeah, in my presentation, I clearly mentioned that never update the website. This is the information problem. Yeah, but for the SEZ, this is not only our government, because we have a special economic zone development committee. This is a different committee and uh, joint venture with the Japanese government, or the JETRO. So it's been that uh, maybe much better than our government website. Uh, the problem is, um, I, I'm not sure Japanese uh, uh, they are very confidential sometimes. They don't like to make announcement that they are come and invest in our country.